A bill that would make daylight saving time permanent took a big step forward today. The bill just passed in the U.S. Senate. Florida Senators Rick Scott and Marco Rubio say the bill would immediately pass the House and then it would head to President Biden's desk. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you always know when we have brand new content so you won't miss a thing. This is Random Things You Need to Know. I'm your host, uh, George Bush Jr. Yes, it's yes, former President George Bush. Get right. Hey, if you are a bitch you're watching, thanks for coming back. If you are at YouTube watching, thanks for coming back while we have a chance to tell you about something. Hey, the Senate passed uh, a bill the other day making daylight savings time permanent meaning the Americas will never have to change their clocks ever again if it passes through the house. Yeah. So Holly, I think every parent with young children would probably jump up and down at this news. As you know, their body clocks, kids' body clocks do not change very easily. Um, but yes, yeah, so the Senate just passed by unanimous consent. There was no vote, and that means all 100 senators agreed, which is also very rare in the Senate, to keep daylight savings time. This is something that is bipartisan. It has 17 co-sponsors, Republicans and Democrats, and the Top Republicans in the Senate, uh, they were gaggling with reporters when this actually happened on the Senate floor. So Senator John Thune, the number two, who is responsible for counting Republican votes, had no idea this happened. And he was even shocked that it passed. But he said it's something that pretty much everyone agrees with. So, of course, as you mentioned, it then goes to the House of Representatives. We have no update yet if the House is going to take up this bill. But if they do and if it passes, then it goes to the president's desk where he could either sign it into law or veto it. But I have a feeling that if he were to veto it, that would be overruled, given how popular this idea is on Capitol Hill, Holly. Uh, the Senate has passed a bill to make daylight savings permanent from November 20, 2023, and will now go to a vote in the House. The new legislation called the Sunshine Protection Act means the Americans will stop having to change their clocks twice a year. That's, you know, I'm tired of that. We just did that, and I'm tired already. It's just, you can't get, adjust, can't get used to this. The bill was led by Democrat Sheldon Whitehouse and Republican colleague Marco Rubio. That's good. See, Democrats and Republicans coming together for something. Uh, it's time for Congress to take up our bipartisan legislation to make daylight savings time permanent and brighten the coldest months with an extra hour of afternoon sun. The measure still needs approval from the House of Representatives and backing from the president, you know, that guy Joe Biden. On Sunday, most of the United States resumed daylight savings time, moving ahead one hour. The United States will resume standard time in November 20, November 2022. Rubio said after input from airlines and broadcasters that supporters agreed that the change would not take place until November 2023. Hawaii, America Samoa, Guam, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and most of Arizona do not observe daylight savings time. Huh, interesting. In November 2021, a poll from the Associated Press, NORC Center for Public Affairs Research, finds only 25% of Americans say they prefer to switch back and forth between standard and daylight savings time. When the sun rises and sets one hour later in the summer than it would during standard time. 43% of Americans say they would like to see standard time used during the entire year. 32% say that they would prefer to see daylight savings time used for the entire year. The question I have when I read this is I'm thinking, how do you just control time? I thought that this was necessary my whole life we've been doing this. How would you just do this? What is the rationale behind daylight savings time? According to uh, encyclopedias all over, Britannica, wherever, uh, industrialized societies usually follow a clock-based schedule for daily activities that do not change throughout the course of the year. The time of day that individuals begin and end work or school and the, coordina the coordination of mass transit, for example, usually remain constant year-round. 
contrast, in agrarian societies, daily routines for work and personal conduct are more likely governed by the length of daylight hours and by solar time, which changes seasonally because of the Earth's axial tilt. North and south of the tropics, daylight lasts longer in summer and shorter in winter, with the effect becoming greater the further one moves away from the equator. By, synchro by synchronously resetting all clocks in a region to one hour ahead of standard time, individuals who follow a clock-based schedule will wake an hour earlier than they would have otherwise. They will begin and complete daily work routines an hour earlier, and they will have available to them an extra hour of daylight after the workday activities but they will have one less hour of daylight at the start of each day, making the policy less practical during the winter. While the times of sunrise and sunset change at roughly equal rates as the seasons change, proponents of daylight savings time argue that most people prefer a greater increase in daylight hours after the typical 9 to 5 workday. Supporters have also argued that daylight savings time decreases energy consumption by reducing the need for lighting and heating, but the actual effect of overall energy is use, overall energy use is heavily disputed. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, we, we obviously, we have, haven't always had this, but this started sometime around uh, 1810, right? I believe it was, it was George Hudson first New Zealand's George Hudson who first came up with this idea of daylight savings he first proposed the modern daylight savings time his work shift job gave him the leisure to collect his ants uh, and he wanted more hours of daylight in the evening so he presented this idea of the daylight saving time that we have uh, currently today this is very interesting it makes me wonder how are these people just able to play with our time like this how are they able to just play God with us like this could time be a God to that in a moment. Many of you may have forgotten, I also played around with the Daylight Savings for a little bit. On Monday, October 8th, 2005, me, President Bush, signed into law a broad energy bill, Energy Policy Act of 2005, that extended Daylight Savings Times Hour by four weeks. Beginning in 2007, the provisions of the bill called the, for Daylight Savings Time to begin three weeks earlier on the second Sunday in March and in one week earlier on the first Sunday in November. Previously, daylight savings time started on the first Sunday in April and ended in the last Sunday in, in the last Sunday in October. The provisions took effect on March 11th, 2007. How do you feel about that, right? How do you, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you, so you, many of you may be saying, why did you do that? Well, here's some of the reasons why. Energy savings will possibly save 100,000 barrels of oil daily. You know, that whole oil thing's going on because we're in that Iraq war at the beginning of it. People will turn interior and exterior lights on later in the day, which will save electricity. Lighting for evening sports events can be turned on one hour later. Recreation. People will have more time to enjoy activity hours such as golf, tennis, and theme parks. Farming. Many farmers wor work part-time and will have extra hours to work after they arrive home. Full-time farmers may not see any benefits. Okay. So, there you go. That's why we did it. How long have they been doing this? I mean, how long can they do this? How many times can they do this? Can they just always play with our time? Can they always decide when our time is our time? Can tomorrow, can they say, you know what, 12 is no longer 12. 12 will now be 1. Can they now decide that, you know, the, num the numerical system is different? I mean, maybe they can. I mean, numbers are now racist. So it's very possible that they, math is racist. So it's very possible that they could say, time, time could also be racist, sexist, homophobic need to be changed <laughs> so what does this mean right what does this mean uh, probably nothing much for most of us we don't really care uh, we won't have to change our clocks back we won't even they won't even phase us much um, yeah, I mean we don't we don't create the world we just live in it um, we don't have any co any real control over it right I guess this would be God's plan but does God want this it's time of God I asked you that earlier I have, a, I have an answer to that an answer to that and the answer is yes time is a god you know back in the day let's, let's do some blending let's show some stuff on the screen back in the day many people used to praise saturn there are many religions to the planet saturn because saturn represents uh chronos who represents time uh according to 
many different scholars, Saturn, Latin Saturnus, in Roman religion, the god of sowing or seeds. The Romans equated him with the Greek agricultural deity Cronus. Uh, this, the remains of Saturn's temple at Rome, eight columns of the port, the Pronaos, which is a porch, still dominate the west end of the forum and at the foot of the Clivus Capitolinus. All right, so how can you praise Saturn? You may be wondering, how do you do this? How do I praise? If I want to praise Saturn, how would I do this? Well, according, you have to, you have to get the mantra, you have to dispel the negative energy and attract uh, a positive good spouse. <laughs> how, you, how would you know that until you bury her? When Saturn is afflicted in the seventh house, this mantra should be recited. It helps fulfill one's desires. Oh, you got to say, Om Klim Vishnev Namaha. And then to strengthen one's career, this mantra must be recited. Om Harim Vish Vishnave Na Maha. Okay, so we just, we just, if you did it with me, say it with me or whatever you want to say, you have now praised Saturn. Maybe some good time will come to you. I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We, like I said before, we have no control over it. Maybe if you can praise Saturn and it'll work for you and things will change, you let me know in the comment section. I would love to know if there are any people out there who still practice religions of Saturn. Yeah, Gentiles. They not Jews. They 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 worship Saturn. They were, that's what Satan is just Saturn in the Bible. And we talking about the Vatican and all of them. They worship Satan. And that's Saturn. The Vatican worships Saturn. The Vatican worships Dagon, a fish god. Tell me about those. I'm pretty interested in those. I mean, um, Saturn's a pretty big myth god in mythology. You know, there was a big festival for him that used to be known as Saturnalia, which is where a lot of the Christmas stuff comes from. So maybe we do practice. Maybe we do praise time. Maybe, we, maybe the whole Christmas thing is still us praising Kronos, praising Saturn, uh, doing all of that. Maybe we just never realized it. Um, so there are apparently all kinds of symbols also out there depicting Saturn, the little black boxes all over the place that are on the screen. Apparently these are all Saturn depictions, praising of Saturn, showing that he is everywhere. And you know we're all slaves to time. We have to get to work, we got to be on time, we got to be places, you know, in a punctual manner. And only in Jamaica and Aruba do they not worship, do they not care about time. So maybe, maybe they are the real Christians and we are actually Saturnalians and we don't know it. Start praising Saturn, and then maybe things will change for us in this nation. Who knows? Maybe that's the real secret that no one wants to tell us. That's maybe that's the secret of the religions is that we all should be Saturnalians and not praise the sun. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. You tell me what do you think? Do you think, yeah, this is a great idea? Daylight savings all day, all year sounds fantastic. I love this. Or do you feel like, well, I don't know what this really does. I don't see how this makes a difference, and I don't really care. Or are you a person who's like, this is terrible? I don't even want this. This is gonna ruin my whole life. Tell me why. I would love to know your opinion on this. I want to know what people think. All right, so this is something that you needed to know. I think I'm going to read more about Saturn. Maybe in the next one, I'll be a Saturnalian. Maybe I'll start with making Saturn the, the, the second temple of Saturn. You know, I'll create a church so we can all praise Saturn. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is something that you needed to know. To all my Saturnalians, Random Radio.